What's up everybody, we're back with another Exotic Weapons and Catalyst video, and this one is on the Prospector Exotic Grenade Launcher, which is an arc power weapon. So let's get into those perks. The first perk is Volatile Launch. This weapon is optimized for an especially explosive payload, so it greatly increases the blast radius, but it slightly decreases the handling speed and slightly decreases the projectile speed. The second perk is Augmented Drum. It is a heavy, high capacity drum, so greatly increases the magazine size, but it greatly decreases the reload speed. The origin trait is full auto trigger system. Holding down the trigger will fire this weapon at full auto. And the last perk is hand laid stock. This weapon is optimized for recoil control, so it increases the stability. The intrinsic trait is excavation. Pressing the trigger will fire grenades. Releasing the trigger will detonate all live grenades simultaneously. Additionally, grenades stick to surfaces and set targets on fire. Now as for the exotic catalyst, so here it says it increases the ammo reserves, but it additionally increases the blast radius. So with the ammo reserves, by default it's 19, with the catalyst it goes up to 23. And as for the blast radius, by default it's 10, with the catalyst it goes up to 38. So how to obtain the Prospector Exotic Grenade Launcher? So just a note real quick, this is an OG Destiny 2 weapon, so it's been in the game since Destiny 2 launched back in September of 2017. And it's always been a world drop exotic, which means it can be obtained from exotic engrams that can drop from any activity, and that also includes Xur, who can sell it. Not including his treasure hoard in Eternity, Zer can appear in one of three locations on the weekend. One of them is here in the European Dead Zone, you'll load into the Winding Cove and go where my Guardian goes here on the screen. Another location is in the Tower, you'll go to the Hangar, which is to the left of course, and then when you get to the Hangar you'll make another left and he's back on some scaffolding. The other location he can appear in is on Nessus, you load into the Watcher's Grave and he goes straight back and he's in the Big Tree. Now, regardless of what weapon Zer is selling, it's going to cost you 29 Legendary Shards. If you come here on a weekend and he does not have the weapon you're trying to get, you can get a chance at obtaining that weapon by purchasing his exotic engram for 97 Legendary Shards, and it contains a random world drop exotic that's not already in your collection. Now just as a general note, if you're trying to get those world drop exotics from Forsaken, most of those require owning the Forsaken pack, but that does not apply to Prospector because it predates Forsaken. Now, if you buy this engram and you still don't get the weapon you're looking for, you have one more chance by using an exotic cipher and you do that once per account per weekend. And those exotic ciphers, one of them comes from this quest here called Xenology, and then another one can be obtained from your season pass on the free track. Now, as of season 20 when this video was recorded, you can only hold one exotic cipher on your account, but beginning in season 21, that cap will be increased to 5. Now as for Prospector's Exotic Catalyst, so Exotic Catalyst in general weren't added to the game until the Warmind expansion in May 2018 which has been categorized as Season 3 of the game. However, Prospector's Exotic Catalyst was not added until Season 6 which was Season of the Drifter which ran from March 2019 to June 2019. So at that time, up until the Beyond Light expansion released, there was a normal strike playlist and a heroic strike playlist as well as the nightfalls. To get the prospect or exotic catalyst back then, it was a random drop from the heroic strike playlist and nightfalls at any difficulty. When the Beyond Light expansion released in November of 2020, it removed that heroic strike playlist. So to get the prospect or exotic catalyst today, it is a random drop from completing nightfalls at any difficulty. Now once you have the Catalyst, to upgrade the Catalyst, it requires 500 kills with the Prospector. So to recap the video, to obtain the Prospector Exotic Grenade Launcher, it is a world drop exotic which means it can be obtained from exotic engrams that can drop from any activity in the game, and that includes Xur who can sell it. To obtain its Exotic Catalyst, it is a random drop from Nightfalls at any difficulty. And then to upgrade the Catalyst, it requires 500 kills using the Prospector. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below. Also make sure to subscribe because I have other videos like this available. And I'll see you in one of my other ones.